Welcome to the Dodge County Esports YouTube page. This is Coach Ashley Hodge, and what you're about to witness is me attempting to play brand in Ultra Rapid Fire for Earth. Everybody's favorite game mode. Now, while we wait for this loading screen to start, let me introduce myself. Uh, my name is Ashley Hodge, and I am currently the head coach for the Dodge County Esports Trailblazer program. Um, as you can tell by my adorable accent that I am very Southern. Uh, I am currently in Georgia. I am female and I play video games. So two things that people get made fun of the most in the video game community, being female or being Southern. It is what it is. After being a gamer since the 90s, you kind of get used to it. Now, um, I am playing brand. I did get this sweet, sweet skin, and I wanted to, to try them out because I do like playing brand mid and brand support. So for those of you in our community who don't know what um, EARTH is, it stands for Ultra Rapid Fire, and basically what you do is you just get to spam your abilities. Uh, normally, there is a cap on your mana. You run out. You have to go back to your little home base, but with EARTH, it does not exist. So this is a great uh, match and game type for uh, mages and people who rely heavily on magic. So as you can see, I get in the little cannon, I fire myself out, and it makes me go real fast <laughs> into these different lanes. Uh, now, I do know some League of Legends terminology, but I'm afraid that some people in our community may not. Um, Esports is still relatively new. So uh, what I'm just doing is... I'm a little purple, purple guy, and uh, what I do is I set people on fire. That's pretty much it. Now, the goal of League of Legends is, of course, to get into the enemy nexus and destroy it, uh, but as you do that along the way, you fight enemy champions. As you can see, that person with the red help bar, that would be considered an enemy. I'm trying to kill the little red minions. That gives me CS. And eventually, you know, you start getting gold, you buy items. The more items you get, the stronger you get. So that's pretty much how this game works. So this is just me playing brand. Um, I wanted my students to cast it for me. They've been casting some of our other games, but they refused. So instead of posting a video with no audio in it, I thought I would humiliate myself and cast it myself, as much as I hate doing that. Feels kind of narcissistic. But again, it is what it is. I want this up here so students can see it. Now, am I the best League of Legends player? Absolutely not. I have way too much going on in my life to actually dedicate myself to being a League of Legends player. Um, currently, I teach audio and film, which is new. This is the first year I've ever taught that. Uh, prior to that, I did teach English for six years. So I am learning a entirely new curriculum with new technology and just a lot of new things I've never done before, like streaming, uh, broadcasting. I've never really done that. I've never really been into that. Casting games, never been into that. Uh, but here we are. Uh, what else am I doing? Um, I'm going to drone school to learn how to be a drone pilot and get certified in that. So that's fun. I am also in a PhD program. I'm currently writing a doctorate dissertation on high school programs, uh, esports high school programs in Georgia. And let's see what else. I'm also learning Adobe Creative Creative Cloud. Yep, that's the name of Creative Cloud. So uh, I just got a lot on my plate. Hence the reason why I'm not ever going to be a pro League of Legends player. <laughs> I did play it a lot in college, but. As you peeps know, you grow up, you have to get a job, and then by the time you get home, you're exhausted, and you don't want to sit down and play a 40-minute League of Legends game. So uh, what, I'm, what I'm just saying is, I'm a busy person. Very busy. And uh, anytime I get to sit down and play League, it's fun. But again, in these videos of mine, you're probably going to see a lot of mistakes and wonder what in the heck I'm doing. And the simple answer to that is, I'm just having fun being brand, setting people on fire. 
Oh, one thing I also forgot to mention. I am also on the Riot Scholastic Advisory Board. So I do get to meet with uh, people at Riot and talk about League of Legends and uh, college tournaments like Collegiate Life and high schools all across America. So that that's pretty fun. Really, honestly, there's not a lot going on in this game. Oh, I killed some little red dudes. Uh, Rise, that is who I'm fighting against. It's Mage versus Mage. He keeps trying to get me with his abilities, but I keep sidestepping him or being just out of range because I'm a sneaky boy. And he keeps uh, being out of my range. Well, nothing too much going on here. Um, I will tell you, this is the second esports program that I have been in charge of. My first one um, was at Colquitt County High School in 2018 when esports first became um, available to high schools. That was one of the largest programs in the state of Georgia. We had um, about 60 to 80 kids. I had a team of really good League of Legends players. They got fourth in the state. It was very exciting. Um, HBO came and filmed a documentary about us. Um, the documentary has not been released yet. Uh, we were interviewed by In the Game Magazine, Polygon, uh, the Atlanta Journal-Constitution, and recently I was interviewed by CBS Think for this new program that I've started. So this isn't really my first radio. I am working with a much smaller program with a smaller budget, which is fine. It's not a big deal. Um, but, you know, if you are a high school student or high school teacher and you want to get esports started at your school, uh, feel free to contact us, email me, and I can talk to you about what is involved in that. It's actually a lot easier than you think. Um, you don't have to play League of Legends or any of the other games they offer. As a coach, you can just kind of manage the students and let them figure it out on their own. Now, it is great if you do play these games, but again, if you don't, there is this magical world of YouTube where you can just have your kids look up information that they need. Oh, I got Rise there. I set him on fire because he's purple. My flames are purple. Oh, got him again. Oh, he got away. <laughs> All right, so I'm just uh, farming minions right now, trying to get that CS up. And since I ran the rise off, I should have pushed tower, but instead, I go roaming around in the bushes. Because I like to hide in the jungle for some reason. Don't know why I'm coming over here. There's no drake. There's no dragon. So I'm just making my way back up mid. Miss a good opportunity to push that tower. Don't know why, but I just did. There's no telling what I was thinking when I was playing this game. All right, so I'm just farming my minions. Trying to stay out of the range of the Rise's abilities. And because uh, his poke, he pokes real hard. And now I am recalling and going home. Right, for people in our community, when you go home and it's called backing, your health and mana increases normally. And once you get your gold from killing champions and killing minions, you can buy some items. And again, the more items you build, the stronger you get. And as soon as I land, I get hit by the rise, which is a bummer. It makes me real sad. Put up a ward there so I got some vision so nobody can come up and, and be sneaky on me. So again, I'm hitting the rise. I'm also trying to clear out this minion wave. Also trying to avoid getting smacked by the rise. It's really a slow game uh, to start. I mean, it looks like I'm about five minutes in. I'm at 62 CS, I can tell by that little triangle in the corner, top right corner. I have zero kills, zero deaths, and zero assists, which is a bummer. Big old bummer. Yeah, uh, instead of pushing tower, I actually come over here to help one of my teammates. I kill the Thresh.
points, I look over on my mini map, I see that mid is getting destroyed because I left my lane like a goober. And now I'm just going to clear these minions out. So I do see one of my teammate, my teammates pinging for help. So I'm going to come over here and do my best to support them. Currently they are fighting over here. So I'm going to spam my abilities and try to save them. I was not successful, but I did get the kill. I try to run away from Thresh. Thresh hooks me and brings me back. So clearly he wants to fight. So I'm just going to light him on fire and that will be a double kill for Brand. Woohoo! And again, I will just make him my way downtown. And now we're going to take this Drake. Woohoo! Go team! And as we take the Drake, you can see that the Vagar is over there trying to steal it. Uh, but he is unsuccessful and gets messed up. Gets torn up. And then uh, that other enemy jumps into the middle of our team. And will also go down. Uh, because that was a risky move. With our entire team there and only two of them, I think. So uh, not a good play on terms of the enemy team. But, of course, I'm not a professional League of Legends player, so who am I to say that somebody's not making good plays? You know what I mean? We're all just doing our best. Uh-oh. <laughs> Let me run away. Because uh, we got two people rolling down mid. And even though I am strong, I am scared. I'm just going to light the Thresh on fire. Vagar is going to try and stun us in his circle, and he is unsuccessful. Uh, that Thresh has got some reach on his hook. And again, uh, we are pinging and warning our teammates that it looks like there's going to be a fight on mid lane. So let's see how this goes because I do not remember at all. Nobody is engaging yet. We are still just trying to poke each other down. I don't think any of us are really tanks. Well, Galio technically could be built as a tank. Um, so it looks like, again, no engagement so far. We're just kind of feeling each other out. And I got hooked, so that is not good, but I managed to get away. And it looks like, um, still poking. Still doing long distance range damage, not really uh, engaging too much. Waiting on somebody to make a terrible mistake. Yas and Galio and Pantheon make a move to go in and will clean sweep this team. So Galio will do his thing. Pantheon is about to unlock and unleash one of his abilities. And it looks like it is going to be a team wipeout. Yep, the whirlwind goes off, the Galio ult, not ult, but the Galio ability goes off and then Pantheon goes in. They will wipe out the enemy team, and we will push forward with the tower. Uh, again, that action just happens so fast, and I am not a professional commentator. I am doing my best. My students are much better at this than I am. Now, you want to talk about bad moves in terms of bad moves over here. Um, <laughs> I goof up so bad. Just get destroyed. <laughs> yep. <laughs> uh, I mean, I took somebody out with me, but it was, uh, it was a big oof. Oof. So bad. So, I'm dead. I'm looking at my items to buy. Right now the team is over here taking the Baron, so I am making my way over here to help Pantheon start this Baron off because we want that sweet, sweet Baron buff because it is amazing. 
Yas is taking care of the scuttler. And Vagar is going to come over here and probably eat it. As he did the last time he messed with the team when we were trying to do something together. So Pantheon does indeed shut down Vagar. Pantheon is coming back. Squad's coming back. Everybody's here except one person. And it looks like we're going to start trying to whittle down this Baron so we can get that sweet, sweet Baron buff. And our team is pushing bot lane here, trying to end this game. Trying to take this tower so we can get into the enemy nexus, which is their base. And take it, well, the base isn't the enemy nexus, but, I mean, it's a giant crystal in the middle of the base that we want to get to and kill. It kind of looks like this, except it's much bigger. You'll see it in a minute. Yep, there it is. That's what, that's the objective. That's what you're always trying to get to. So you take out these towers that protect it, and then you just come over here and smack this a couple of times, and you win. See, there you go. And that was a victory for us. Woohoo! Anytime you get a victory in League, it is to be celebrated, because the League is very, very difficult. I hope you enjoyed this commentary on my own game. Again, I feel like a narcissist. I really wanted the students to do it. But they wouldn't, so I did it myself. Um, hope you enjoy the material that we are putting out. Um, we are a high school. We do have limited funds, so some of our graphics might not be the best. The audio quality might not be the best. But, you know, we want to get our name out there. I want my students' play styles and victories and losses to all be documented on our social media channels. Um, so if you like what you see, please like and subscribe and leave us a comment. Um, if you have any questions about esports or running a program or what it's like to be a 
female esports coach, uh, hit me up and let me know. Hope you enjoyed the video.